Hey, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? The Vengeful Bride of Tola. The Nicaraguan legend of La Novia de Tola warns of what could happen if the sacrament of marriage is not taken seriously. Both parties must be present and ready for the ceremony, or there will be deadly consequences. Ilaria was a God-fearing young woman from a strict Catholic family. She was to be wed to Salvador Cruz. Salvador had a reckless past with a penchant for tequila and the ladies. But now he went to church and had become the honest and caring man Ilaria had prayed for. But old habits die hard. The night before the wedding, Salvador decided to visit his ex-girlfriend, Juana. While their relationship had been volatile and not good for either of them, the desire had not diminished. Juana plied him with his favorite tequila, and Salvador chose to momentarily forget Eladia. Salvador, selfish fool that he was, thought of this as closure, and he'd still enjoy his wedding in the morning. The next day, the bells rang out, but as the church doors opened, Eladia stood at the entrance, her father by her side, but the groom was nowhere to be found. Eladia looked around, frantically, asking for Salvador. Then the whisper started, for everyone else knew exactly where he was. Humiliated, embarrassed for being lied to and cheated on, and for not honoring the sanctity of the church, Eladia wasn't thinking clearly. She ran up the stairs toward the bell tower as fast as she could. At the highest point of the church, she looked up to the heavens and said, Forgive me, Father, for what I'm about to do. She closed her eyes and leapt to the ground, her neck snapping instantly. The wedding attendant stared in disbelief. The coroner came to remove the body, and the priest tried to calm the parishioners. Two hours after the wedding, a taxi sped up to the church. Salvador stumbled out, reeking of booze. He straightened his tie and slicked back his hair, trying to cover his sins. When he saw the coroner loading the body bag into the van, Salvador knew. The crowd turned on him, chasing him out of town, and he wasn't seen again for months. Until one day, Salvador started showing up at church again. Sober and looking to repent, the community forgave him. He even began volunteering at the church, staying to clean up after services. One evening, alone in the church, he saw a woman in white pass by. He turned to ask if she was okay, but she was gone. Just as he was about to lock up, he heard a noise by the stairs. Glancing over, he saw white fabric floating up the stairway. He followed. The white fabric continued up to the roof near the bell, but there was no one there. All he could see was a white wedding veil lying over the edge about to blow off. He ran up to it, snatching the lacy material. As he turned to head back downstairs, there she stood, the ghost of Eladia. Her neck snapped to the side, but she had become something else. The betrayal and grief of being left at the altar had created a vengeful spirit. La Novia da Tola. Before he could speak, she flew over, lifting him a foot off the ground. Floating in midair, she whispered, Forgive me, Father, for what I'm about to do. She threw him over the ledge. His body fell, just as Hilarius had. Except he didn't die instantly. He lay there, face down, writhing in pain. His legs broken, his arms shattered. Screaming in anguish, he felt Eladia hovering above him. He begged for her forgiveness. Eladia stomped on him, shattering the bones from his legs to his ribs to his pelvis. She rolled him over, looking him in the eye as he groaned. And with one final stomp, his face collapsed. The final breath left his body. By the time the townspeople found him, 
They mourned that Salvador's grief and regret had led him to commit suicide in the very place Elaria had. Because what should they believe otherwise? La Novia's legend led to statues and the Nicaraguan saying, left waiting like the bride from Tola. Hell hath no fury like a ghost scorn. I can't get enough of all things horror, which is why Shudder is one of my go-to platforms when I want to see something new. If you're in the mood for old classics or looking for the next classic, you're going to love Shudder's collection from around the world. They've got everything from The Wicker Man and Blood on Satan's Claw. I'm looking forward to doing a rewatch of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Classic old school horror. It's always good to go back to those hard to kill villains of horror that gave us the building blocks of what we enjoy today. Plus, nobody swings a chainsaw quite like that anymore. With Shudder, you can stream horror movies and TV shows across all your favorite devices. And Shudder's is ever growing library ad free for just $5.99 a month. If you're a fan of supernatural thriller and all things horror, you're going to love Shudder as much as I do. And right now, you can stream your first 30 days of Shudder for free. Go to Shudder.com and use code something scary. That's S H U D D E R.com code something scary to stream your first 30 days of Shudder for free. Shudder.com code something scary. If you love a good whodunit, then you will go crazy for June's journey. You get to play June Parker, an amateur detective who is investigating a series of mysteries. If you're like me, you're always trying to guess who did it from the get-go. And this game really puts your powers of observation to the test. It's a mystery filled with danger and romance, and there's always a new case waiting to get cracked. June's Journey is set in the 1920s, so it's got a very vintage vibe. Any of you who love to thrift and find hidden treasures from the past are really going to like the style of June's Journey. I love mysteries and crime solving, and I've had so much fun playing June's Journey because there's always a murder and hidden secrets and objects to be uncovered before the mystery can be solved. Check it out right after you listen to Something Scary and join over 30 million fans across the globe and awaken your inner detective with June's Journey. There is a detective in all of us. Find your inner detective. Download June's Journey free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings. Sweet dreams.